If you want to understand algebra, well, you need to understand the xy coordinate plane. And here is an example of the xy coordinate plane. And the whole purpose of this is to plot points and graphs in algebra. We like to look at things graphically, so when you want to construct a graph or locate or plot a point, you do it on the xy coordinate plane. All right, so let's take a look at the basic uh, parts of the xy coordinate plane. So the first thing is we have two lines here, and this is called the x-axis, and this line is called the y-axis, and the center is called the origin, which is the point zero, zero. So this is zero on the x-axis and also zero on the y-axis. But effectively, you can think of uh, uh, both the x-axis and the y-axis as real number lines. So the, for example, if this is the point uh, zero, or the number zero, we just go out to the right here. This would be one, this would be two, this would be three, and then over here we'd have negative one, negative two, negative three, etc. And then on the y-axis, same thing. We're gonna increase uh, going upward. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and likewise down in this direction, it's gonna be negative, negative one, negative two, negative three on the y-axis. Okay, so this is our coordinate system. But the whole point of this is to locate particular points and to plot graphs. So how does this work? Well, let's take a look at a simple example here and uh, talk about how to locate this point on the xy coordinate plane. So the way this works is using something called an ordered pair. Okay, so this would be uh, what we call an xy point or an xy ordered pair uh, that represents the location of a coordinate or a point on the x, y plane. Okay, so you can see here we have x and then y. This is an ordered pair. So what we're gonna do is locate this point first under the x axis. So if we kind of look down here, this point appears to be about two on the x axis. So we're gonna write that uh, point first. Okay, so that would be the uh, coordinate two. So now we're going to look on the y axis and it appears this point is about where three is on the y-axis, so we'll put a three right here. So for example, this point or this coordinate could be pretty close to the ordered pair two, three.